Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. Got Shadow Man with me in March of the year 2022. And everybody's getting excited about the Equinox, which indicates the new year. Well, today I'm going to show you how to build a sundial out of recycled material. That's right. We're going to use an old satellite dish. We're going to flip it upside down and we're going to build a sundial out of it. And the purpose of this video is to show you how to do it quickly, easily, and cheaply if not freely. Now, the first thing you have to do is to find an old satellite dish. If you live in America, chances are you know somebody with one of these old things in their yard. You can tell that it's not working because it's missing the piece there on the front. A lot of times DirecTV will come and get those back. But another way you could tell if they're not working is when the neighbor has a couple of these in their yard. And believe me, they're willing to give them to you for free to get that junk out of their yard. So if you don't have one yourself, look around your neighbors, ask them for it, dig it up, get it planted, and let's make a sundial out of it. Now it's not gonna be quite as easy as the old days when they just stuck a stick in the ground, but I promise you it's not gonna be that hard at all. So let's go ahead and get to it. The first thing we have to do is to find the middle of the dish. Now, even though I tend to spend a little more time than necessary, finding the center of the dish is not that important. In other words, it's not that important that you find the absolute center of the dish. The dish itself is just the place where the shadow will be cast. The accuracy of the sundial will depend on the gnomon or the pole that we'll put in the center of the dish. But typically the way I do it is I use the bolts that are in the dish to find the center horizontally. Then I just measure the vertical center of the dish along that same line using a ruler. Now once we found the approximate center of the dish, now we could go ahead and drill a hole. And like I said, we're going to try to do this cheaply, if not for free. So this is going to be the gnomon that we'll use an old bolt that we sharpen the tip down. So let's find a drill bit and a couple of washers to match. Now I do have a drill, but as I was creating a starter hole, I noticed how easy it was to punch through the satellite dish. And since many of you guys don't have a drill, let me show you how I'm gonna get my hole. I'm gonna take my gnomon, which I've sharpened the tip. I'm going to make it make a hole. Getting bigger. And we're through. So we want to adjust a little bit bigger so that our bowl will fit through. And we'll stick it through without messing up the threads. Too bad. So let's put some washers on it and tighten it down. So there you have it. You have our gnomon already cast in the shadow. I spent a little extra time making sure that the washer was perfectly centered because that's going to be part of our measuring when it comes to the equinoxes. And that's how we'll know when our year starts. Now, let's get it painted. Well, you might call this a bonus step, but before I paint it, I'm gonna go ahead and mark my holes, mark the center of the disc, so that I don't have to bring the tape measure out and the ruler in order to find my holes anymore. I might have went a little bit deep, but hey, it's not gonna hurt anything, and we know for sure that those marks are permanent. And just like that, we have a sundial. Now, the only paint I had was yellow. It may not be ideal, but it saved me a trip to the store. And like we said, we're trying to build this for free. So it's gonna work this time. Plus the shadow only looks pretty good, don't it? So let's go ahead and set it. So you see how easy it is to build a sundial. Not quite as easy as sticking and sticking the ground, but I think it took us a total of 15 to 20 minutes to actually get this done and is actually better than a stick in the ground. But setting it is actually turns out to be a little more difficult. 
at least for those followers of our channel who have tried this, many of them have reported difficulties in the understanding of setting the dish. Setting it itself is not complicated. We just have to understand how to do it. Again, you have two directions to move this dish. You have the tilt, which is up and down. And then you have the rotation, which is side to side. Well, in order to set it to high noon, we have to rotate it so that our shadow is lined up perfectly with those two marks that we made or the center of the dish. Now, being that it is high noon and the shadow is perfectly vertical, we know that this sundial is facing due north or exactly due south. Now, setting it in the vertical position can be a little more difficult, unless, of course, we're at the equinox. So, since we're not, we have to use some type of measuring device. I have this old protractor that I got from Ace Hardware, but there are apps that you can download on your phone to do the exact same thing. The difficult part is setting it to your latitude. You remember the latitude and longitude? Well, the one that talks about north and south is the one that you're interested in. Me, I'm about 36 degrees north, so I need to set my gnomon or my pole to exactly 36 degrees. The difficult thing about these satellite dishes is the limited range of motion. They're not set to go to 36 degrees in their current configuration. So to fix this, what we have to do is flip the dish around. In other words, we have to turn it upside down. You see that manufactured pole at the bottom of the satellite dish? Well, let's flip it around so that it is at the top of the satellite dish. And for this particular model, to do that, all we have to do is loosen up some of these bolts and then just spin it around. So we flipped it around and now you can see that the satellite dish is able to get to 36 degrees. If you live really far north, you probably don't have to worry about that part. You're going to have to have your dish to point almost directly toward the sun. And the only way you're going to be able to do it is to flip the whole dish around. It's really easy, as you can see. So now let's go ahead and set the dish. All right, so now we can set it in the horizontal position. We can rotate it. And to set it in the horizontal position, we have to wait to exactly high noon in our area. Not noon or 12 o'clock, but we have to wait to high noon, which could, which could range anywhere from 11.40 till about 12.20, depending on where you're at. So when we're at high noon and we have sun, all we have to do is set it so that the shadow lines up with the pre-set marks that we put in it for the vertical line. You see the indention? You can almost see the indention there. Well, to make sure that the satellite dish is set perfectly at high noon, all I have to do is put the shadow in that indention. So now, let's set it vertically. But before we do, let me just talk about this other shadow that's on the dish. That shadow is being cast by this pole that came with the dish. This is the part that used to house the main part of the satellite dish, the brains of the satellite dish, so to speak. A lot of times DirecTV will come and get those, but they'll leave the pole and the dish behind. Well, I've left this pole on here to experiment to see if that pole could actually be used as a gnomon. You see how it's cast in a shadow in the approximate place already that our gnomon is cast in a shadow. It only needs a slight adjustment. So I'm gonna leave that on there just to see if we can bypass the step of creating our own gnomon and just use the satellite dish itself as the gnomon. Now that we have the satellite dish set in the horizontal position, now we can set it in the vertical position. And unless we're at the equinox, we're gonna to have to have some type of device to do that. Here I have a protractor that I got from Ace Hardware, but you can download a app to your phone and you can use your phone as a level to set your gnomon. You see right here, I have it actually rested up against the gnomon because it is that that I'm measuring. That's the important part. Again, the dish itself is just where the shadow is being cast at, equivalent to the ground. But 
the shadow caster is the important part that has to be set directly to the latitude for our area. Me, my latitude is about 36 degrees north. And so I have to set my gnomon at exactly 36 degrees. So what you'll do is look up your latitude for your area, and then you'll have to set your gnomon for exactly those coordinates. So you will have to set your gnomon to match your latitude. And just like that, we have a working sundial. Just that easy. Not hard at all. And definitely not expensive at all. We didn't even have to make a trip to the store to get it done. And it's already telling us what time of the year we're in. You see how small that shadow is right there? It's because we're getting close to the equinox. When that shadow is only on the nut, not cast off of the washer or onto the dish at all, we'll know that we are exactly at the equinox. So from now on, we can know exactly what season we're in. We can know when the year starts, and we can know when our feast days are without having to depend on man and his calendar. Now it turns out that's actually the hard way to set it. The easy way to set the sundial and the most accurate and precise way to set the sundial is to wait till the equinox. When the sun crosses the equator, so that all we have to do in order to set our sundial is to line it up so that the shadow is only cast on the nut like that. You can see it just a little bit off to the left there, which means we're a little bit past high noon. But the fact that we don't have a shadow in the north or the south of the pole means that we are at the equinox. So you can go ahead and have your sundial built and ready to go. So now if you have any questions about any of this, let me know. As far as I know, we are the only channel or website or anywhere that's talking about building a sundial out of a satellite dish. This was our father's idea that he gave to me. So if you have any questions about it, let me know. I'll be glad to ask them. But if you have any revelations, anything you can add, please share them in the comment section. And I'll see you there. Shalom.